Hey guys, welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be working on another part of this new sort of series I've started, which kind of going with the loose title of Sketch Stories, uh, though I'm not fully settled on that one. Um, but basically it's just a small series that I want to start doing where I'm doing some small sketches, uh, usually mixed media, sitting in a nice comfy spot uh, in my living room at my coffee table. So today I am drawing a couple of peonies. So I've always really loved these flowers. Um, their petals are super gorgeous and delicate. And for some reason there's always been like something ghostly about them in my mind. So I've always loved them for that aspect. So I'm using a combination of mediums like I did with my latest piece belonging to this series. Uh, so jumping between kind of graphite and charcoal and colored pencils and ink and then topping it off with uh, white acrylic paint for those sharp white highlights that you'll be seeing. So I'm just kind of feeling out the different textures and different contours of the petals. Um, I kind of played around a little bit with the order that I apply the different tones. So for this first flower, I worked a lot of the shadows in before going in and doing the highlights. Um, and then in the second flower, I kind of worked around the opposite. So I did find that it actually worked better to put the shadows in first. Basically because I was working with a sort of waxy quality to the white, which didn't really allow me to go in over top with uh, darker tones as easily. So it all depends on the mediums that you're using. So I wanted to add kind of a little sparkle and spice to the piece. So what I did is I grabbed just an average purple colored pencil and I started kind of really lightly layering those tones into some of the shadows just to give a hint of color and a little more drama. I love the addition of geometric shapes into art in general because I always love to see those little geometric flares. So here basically what I did is I just grabbed a clean mug from my cupboard and uh, lightly traced out a circle and then just kind of using again a combination of the mediums to make the ring itself nice and bright and then adding kind of a nice smoky shadow behind it to give some contrast. I think illustrations like this go really well with the sort of unpredictable nature and texture of the ink washes below. Uh, it's just fun to kind of pull on the different textures and to just take it from there and see what happens. So for these pieces I don't definitely don't do a lot of planning beforehand. Usually I kind of have an idea of usually my subject that I want to work with and general composition, but by not putting a lot of pressure on these sort of sketch pieces that I'm doing, it really allows me to fully enjoy the process rather than being obsessed about all the details and it just, it's a lot more freeing and a lot more enjoyable. And it's a great learning experience, so it's a winner all around. So on this flower here, I kind of tried pushing in those highlights first and then working with the shadows. Not really happy with how it turned out, just like I said earlier, the waxiness of the white colored pencil that I was using kind of made it difficult to go over with the darker tones, but it all worked out in the end.
Thanks guys so much for watching. As always, if you have any comments or questions, leave a comment down below and I will try my best to get back to you. Thanks guys!